What's going on guys? Welcome back to another one. Behind me is Dade City MX. It is not my first time here, but it feels like every time I come out, it might as well be, sort of, because they do a track change really frequently, very often, frequently. So we're gonna throw our helmet on, see what they got for the layout tonight. This track is up in Dade City, and it is a tacky sand track. Stays pretty good all night long, but uh, we'll see what we have in store. So enough yapping, let's get to it. Now I have to be honest, I already went out there for like half a session because I got here late and GoPro didn't have an SD card in it, so I missed that session. But we're getting the second session in, track still looks pretty good.
Okay. Moto 2, technically, first moto that I'm talking to you guys. Track is fun. It's a little bit smaller. Lots of tight uh, 180s. Sometimes they have them, sometimes they don't. It just depends on the layout that they have. But I guess that's what's kind of cool about this track is that they always change it. Fueling up, getting some water. Gonna make sure we're topped off on gas and get ready to go out for Moto 2 slash 3. So this will be fun. The one thing that was really fun was that battle with the Yamaha at the end. And she was actually the one that smoked me at the vet race at Tampa. So I kind of recognized her from that and I was like, oh, I gotta go. So that was a fun little battle there at the end. Hopefully we'll find her again in the next moto. Woo, here we go. Yeah. I remember my first time. Ate a ton of dirt on that one. So, the thing about Sandlot, Sandlot, the thing about Dade City is that I think because they change the track so frequently, it gets really soft and a lot of the jump faces start to develop like cups and ruts and just pieces of it that fall apart. So, you always have to ride pretty smart and like pay attention to what the jump face looks like, or it's really easy to like swap your bike and go down and you know have a bad night. But, Got a late start to that one because I was dilly-dallying and didn't pay attention to when we started, but that was fun. Catching up to the pack, kind of riding through them. And then I was catching my buddy Chris there at the end. He was having fun trying out a, a 350. So maybe he can ride it again and we'll go out at the same time and get some follow-up footage for the next moto. Okay guys, getting ready for our last moto. And as you can tell, it is very dark outside. Here, let me see if you can see. Yeah, all the lights are on around the track. So 
The track is definitely at its worst right now. It's super chewed up, but um, we're gonna fire it up and have one more uh, good session here. Hopefully we'll keep it upright and uh, have fun. So here we go. The dirt out here is pretty sticky. So trying to be conscious of the GoPro, keep it clean. I need to not clean it off with my throttle hand. That's probably a really bad idea. So I need to learn how to do that with my left hand. to the MX. That is a wrap. They're doing last call for all the big bikes, but we're done. We're loaded up. That's all we got for tonight. So four solid motos. Had some fun. Heart rate was doing okay. Not great, but it was okay. Lap times were sort of consistent, but <laughs> could use improvement. So we're going to keep on trying. But if you guys are looking to come out to Dade City MX, it is a tacky, sandy track that has some pretty mellow jumps. Nothing too big. Everything's pretty beginner friendly. Um, sometimes they have some like 180 heavy style tracks and then other times they have like some big flowy sweepy stuff you just never know when you're unless you come out here so you guys could be watching this video and a couple days later you come out and the track could be totally different so I don't know what the layout's gonna be if you come visit but you're gonna have fun it's a good facility been here for a while so hopefully it sticks around and you guys come out and enjoy it that's going to be it for this one. Thank you guys again for watching. So stay tuned. I'll hopefully make it to another track here that I haven't been to just yet. And we're going to have some fun riding our dirt bike. Thanks for watching. Peace.